everybody, hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Marcos from N3 Reviews, just checking it out again. How are you guys doing tonight? I hope you're doing good, I'm doing good myself. I know I always say that, but another good day, another good week, another good two weeks, everything's great. Over the last couple of weeks, uh, everything has just been good. Got some a bunch of new toys on, online and, and stuff like that. Went to a couple of toy stores, that kind of thing. I love doing that kind of stuff. And um, you know, that whole uh, gym motivation thing, you know, so I'm still going to gym, everything's going out, but I just want to update you right there. Uh, today I got 365 up, so check this little video out right here. Um, put up 365 clean, uh, not too big of an issue. It was, it was really, uh, it wasn't super simple, but it was just right. That's my boy Russell right there in the background. He's funny, but um, <clears throat> you know that's just one step closer to my goal of hitting that 405, and that's that's awesome, you guys. Now this is my buddy Cole today. This motherfucker, he put up 455. Check this dude out. <laughs> This guy, he's, he's about three inches taller than me. He weighs 222 pounds. He's my gym nemesis. That guy is fucking cool. And, uh, you know, I was like, uh, you know, all the guys in the gym are pretty cool. You know, you start talking to dudes and, and stuff like that. Everybody's got um, a lot of good information to give you and that kind of stuff. Let me open this up right here. Mm, I've been waiting all day for that. Anyways, you know, just, just to bring you guys in here tonight, there's um, I, I wanted to do a collection video, and uh, I was just thinking of how to do it, because I, I, you watch a lot of collection videos and stuff like that on, on YouTube, and um, people got some really big collections, and people got some smaller collections, some people are really clean and simple, some people are like really extravagant with all their lights and their boxes. I think I'm on a little bit of the mid area right there, you know, um, I, I did start collecting really good back in 2015. Um, and then um, this is how my collection started then check this out and so you know just with this little um, setup that I had in my room were the floating shelves I went that route and uh, I started buying all the G1 characters and stuff like that so um, that's where my collection first started and here we go with the um, collection video um, good luck thanks for watching I appreciate you guys thanks for being there and uh, I'll check you out in a little bit enjoy Okay, you guys, so this is my He-Man collection from my buddy Jason. Now, these are all his figures, but I told him, you know, hey, bring them over. Let me display them. And this is how I display them. Now, uh, <clears throat> I am in my garage right now, so you guys can see some reflections in the glass and all kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, all these right here are his from when he was a kid, and he just saved, and he just brought them all over to me. And uh, we selected through and, uh, you know, found out some good ones. And so there's He-Man right there. And I did like He-Man when I was a kid. I wasn't allowed to watch the cartoon to church and stuff like that. My mom um, and all her church affiliates, were they just didn't allow um, or said, you know, hey, don't let your kids watch certain cartoons. And He-Man was one of them because there was magic involved and all that kind of stuff. Well, I always used to go over to my friend's house and we, you know, I never snuck and watched He-Man. I just you know that kind of thing so I did I did really want He-Man figures I just wasn't allowed to have them so those are pretty cool I got his Castle Grayskull and his Snake Mountain these are really good those are vintage from when he was a kid so awesome and now starting over here now this right here is a display cabinet that I got off of offer up for $20 and I think I, I do have it in my other videos where I explain about it and all that kind of stuff But whatever anyway, these are my figs that are all random So I, I do love uh, prison school and there's that and then those are the two girls that I got from uh, Dragon Ball Z super cool and then I know that bright light might be a little bit bright, but uh, there's Goro right there and smoke I do have um, I do have um, Baraka coming in from Big Bad Toy Store, but it just hasn't arrived yet. I don't, I don't know what's up with that, but um, there's there's Cammy, super cool, Chun Li. If any of these figures, you guys, you guys are looking at them and um, are interested in what exactly the one it was, just uh, hit me up in the comments below and let me know. You know that dude's sick right there, Spawn, 
And then these um, these two girls right here, excuse that reflection there, sorry. These two girls right here were a little bit disappointing on their, I think they were knockoffs, but they were okay for what they are. And I like them um, in there for Harley Quinn. She's a cool girl. And these are all my Siege figures here. Now, if you guys noticed with the Siege line, they have not done a lot of the Decepticons, you know? So you got a lot of Autobots that are out, but not too many of the Decepticons, which is kind of disappointing. It's like, where, where's the rest of them at? That'd be cool if they do the Constructicons. I'm not sure if those are in the lineup yet. But um, <clears throat> these are super cool figures, you guys. I do like them. Um, they're pretty cool. Let me see if I can get rid of some of this reflection here. There we go, not too bad right there. I uh, picked that guy up. Now, he was my most recent pickup for the Siege characters. Um, very good, and you got your Ultra Magnus back there. Um, Iron Hide, you can barely see him, super cool. <clears throat> I, I like the way that they transform their suit. They're they're pretty simple. They're pretty basic, but they they still look aesthetically pleasing to me with their with how they um, they represent the characters. Starscream's probably my favorite with Optimus. You know he's pretty sick. And then these are the uh, Wee Zhang figures. Now you guys have seen these, of course, but man, check that dude out right there. That is blackout. He is so sick. He's perfect. And the little scorpion right there. And then I did pick up the uh, Rans Ransora, the Megatron. Uh, he looks pretty good uh, in jet mode only. I'll never put him in robot mode. He's just looks like a fucking doll, you know, like I didn't really like that too much, but the jet's fucking badass. And then, um, man, that Optimus Prime boy, he's fucking sick. You know, when I, when I opened him out of the box, man, he looks so good. I do. I have so many Optimus Primes as I'm sure all you guys do. But uh, this one looked so good in truck mode, so detailed and uh, perfect in every way. There's nothing wrong with Wee Zhang, you guys, at all. I mean, this company is really good, and I'm I'm not even calling them a knockoff anymore. Me and a dude were commenting, they're not knockoffs. I'm gonna call them knockups. And he called them something else. I forgot what he called them, but they're they're just like knock them out of the park or something like that. He said, "Fucking cool." And there, look at that brawl, dude. That brawl is fucking cool. And then I got the Hound. Uh, Hound was pretty good as, as a robot. He, he's kind of hard to transform, but not too bad. He looks good right there. Awesome. Very cool. <clears throat> All right, so then moving along this night. Now, I, excuse me, my finger there. Um, this is my garage, so my, my house is just a lot different with the, um, the way I displayed these things, but... Um, I got Optimus Prime helmet, fucking Iron Man, and these are my son's snowboard helmets. They're from uh, Rue Rock. Now, they're a really good company. These helmets are really comfortable and really good to have if you're snowboarding. Super cool. Got some Legos in the back, and I got Vampirilla. She's fucking cute. I like that. And uh, I had to put my, my Basojo figure out here. With my, she's not with my other girls because, you know, I'm running out of room, you guys. And, and that's one thing about collecting. You kind of got to come to a stopping point where you realize, okay, it's either get a bigger house or fucking uh, start downsizing. Or I don't know what you would even do. But anyways, I got my GoBots there. Sidekill, Crasher, Cop Tour, fucking, I forget the forklift guy's name, and then Leader One right there. I'm going to move on with my um, my uh, GoBots. I do like those a lot. I did have GoBots when I was a kid. And I've got the uh, Funko Pop there. I, got, I do like the Legendary Voltron. Uh, it, it goes both ways. You know, some people just don't like it. Some people do like it. But I, I watched the Netflix series. They did really good with that. But I did have look at that original Voltron in the back. The uh, Princess Allura there. She's pretty. I like the uh, Princess Allura on, on Legendary Voltron. And I want them to do all these characters. But they only did um, um, Shiro, Lance, and... Um, I don't even know if they did Pidge, but Keith, they don't, I don't even know if they did Keith. I got to look into it, but whichever ones they didn't have, they just didn't make yet, you know. <clears throat> I don't know if they're going to. I got my vehicle Voltron. Now, that is an original vehicle Voltron, and he is broken up on the hood just like everybody has, you know. And, and I think one of his blades are broken, but I super glued it, so he's pretty cool. Um, nice Voltron figure to have. And then you got your original Trypticon, fucking cool. This guy, motors still work and everything. He's very cool. This guy's a really good bot. Everything's good on him. I got all, he's 100% complete. Little star screen there. You got six gun, you got your Metroplex. He's 100% complete too, looks really good. Got um, just awesome. And you know, it's it's funny how you guys watch the, um, how they do the, the big Metroplex and the big Trypticon now, way better. But these toys are still pretty cool. Got a fucking, um, Starscream in the back from uh, that uh, Transformers Prime. Now some of these I just kept them in the packages just to have them in the packages But you know, uh, you'll see upstairs where I got just a bunch of the other ones that are out of the package Got your fucking GI Joe's right here. I love Joe's man. 
these are originals right here. Some, well, excuse me, some of these are originals, like the hooded Cobra. You got the Baroness and the fucking driver for the his tank in there. Pretty cool. And then these are the uh, 25th anniversary guys right here. Uh, I think that Destro is pretty sick. And that, that black Cobra Commander too. Super cool. I, I love this. The whole G.I. Joes are fucking cool. And check out that robotics, dude. Uh, that is my that is mine actually from when I was a kid. And I, I saved that. It was one of my toys that just lasted with me. And, and I liked, I opened that up and built him. He's pretty cool. Got an <clears throat> Omega Supreme right there. That's a fucking um, original. 100% complete as well. Awesome. And then you got some of these... Some art. I got some comic books here. I want to put all the comic books. So you'll see how I do in my living room and those plastic sheaths, you know, that hang up on the wall. Those look really cool. Um, just, I don't remember. I think these are all the Mech Tech lines. Mech Tech, Mech Tech fucking from the movie, you know. Got your Shockwaves, cool. And uh, UTO2 or UTO1 Challenger. He's a good, he's pretty good. I like him. He, the the uh, truck mode looks really good too. Got your Chun Li. I love Chun Li. She's awesome. Got your Flash. My son's a good Flash. He's a Flash fan. Everything about Flash, he will make sure that he tells you Flash will win in every fight. The Hulk, fucking whoever, Flash is always too fast. So it's hella funny how he does that. But true, he's fucking a fast motherfucker. You got your fucking uh, Optimus Prime there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that little Coleco Vision, the little Pac Man, that thing still works. It's pretty cool. I like that. I'm going to open up this cabinet right here so we can get some of this reflection out of the way. The big heavy glass doors, those are really good. Um, got your Heroes of Cybertron, who's in there? Oh, yeah, Ultra Magnus and uh, Moon, I think, Laser Moon or some shit. With, what's her name? Rubik's Cube, Titanium Series, fucking um, Galvatron in there. These girls right here, and I do look at that Beast Wars, uh, Beast Machines, fucking uh, Black Arachnia. And uh, I got her on the pre-order from Bid Bag Toy Store coming, uh, I think in a couple of months. I, I had to get that. That figure looked really good. Masterpiece. Oh, man. I had to get that. Uh, super cool. Got some of these bombshell figures. These are really cool figures. You know, I took two in a package, and then uh, my daughter just recently took these out of her room. Said, here, Dad, you can put them downstairs because I'm a grown woman now, you know, <laughs> kind of thing. And I was like, ah, that's cool. I'll take them because I'll put them down here. So this is where my uh, super good little things right here nothing wrong with those you got your legendary voltron funko pop now that's the bigger one he, he was pretty cool i saw that at a toy show picked him up like that i did want the smaller one but the bigger one was just as good got a chain steering wheel right there that, that, that has been in all of my vehicles when i was a kid i put it in i had a bunch of volkswagens and stuff the thing went everywhere with me and i had um all your nintendo games back in there i got my original nintendo that's fucking cool just got a cup random shit down here some more legos random random this one right here, my friend's son, little Corey, he gave me that. Hey, thanks, little Corey. That was cool right there. He just brought it over and said, here you go, Uncle Marky. I was like, cool. And uh, all these bots right here, this just the simple bots, you know, nothing cool, nothing major. That's a 3D print of the Cobra Commander chair, but when I got it, my, my Joes didn't fit in it, and I wanted Cobra Commander to be in there, but he just he kept pawing out. You have to, like, glue them, and I didn't want to glue them in there. Fucking some of that shit right there. Got those sunglasses now. Those sunglasses back there are from when the movie first came out, and they had the um, <clears throat> the three Ds. You know, those, so those are the three D glasses. Those ones aren't actually three D. They are um, original. Um, <clears throat> they are the original um, Oakley brand um, sunglasses with the uh, Transformer logo on the side. So they're pretty legit. Not that that was cool. And then you got your Jetfire right here. This one's in the jet mode. I got my other Jetfire inside. He's in this fucking bot mode. He looks really good. Got a Red Bull can just because it had Pac-Man on there. Cool. And then you guys see that video? It's old and not too many people have seen it. I think it's only got like 70 views on it. But uh, still, that, that Red Bull can transforms exactly into a Red Bull can. It's so cool. And it comes with a little display. Anyway, that's super neat. Right there, I love all these right here. Now these are the ones in the garage, obviously. So I'm gonna go into the house and show you guys those. Oh, let me get these right here. Some more uh, <clears throat> little randoms. There's a Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman. Got a Harley Quinn, got a Mortal Kombat fucking game right there. And then that dude right there. And I did get to meet this girl right here. Oh, what's her name? Her last name's Goner. Uh, I forgot I forgot her name, but she's fucking cool. She was really nice at the uh, Grape City Con in Lodi last year. That was cool, and she signed that for me. I like that. And then just that right there. All right, you guys, I'm going to go into my living room and check that stuff out with you guys. 
That's my garage. Look, it's messy right now. That's how it goes, right? My daughter's got a big rat cage. She's got a big rat in there. Let's see if you can come out. Buddy. You in there? Oh, look at him sleeping in there. He's sleeping. He's sleeping or dead. Anyway, cool. I'm going to come in the garage. Out of the garage, into the house. <clears throat> so this is my living room right here. It starts back here. and it is, I do have a two-story house, but this house is about 1,500 square feet. Not too big. So, you know, this is the way my, my wife loves America. and She puts all the American stuff up everywhere, so that's cool. Got some stairs right there. Got some stuff up on the wall. Now, coming into the garage, I'm going to kind of move slow so you guys don't get sick because I was kind of like staring into this thing right here. You guys have seen that right there. I'm going to come up close on this. So this is my um, just kind of randoms and stuff, you know. Um, had that. That's a book right there, the um, Decepticon book. And somebody folded the pages just right to make that logo like that. So that was pretty cool. And you got the uh, leader of Matrix. I got a LED light just constantly plugged in. It's not a battery anymore, so that 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 was pretty good. Got my Voltron skateboard up there. My wife got me this, so that was pretty cool. She just came home with it one day, and she's like, "Hey, look, it's Optimus Prime." I was like, "Not quite, but fucking cool. Thank you." You know, super cool. It's made of all wood and that kind of thing. And here is the um, Studio Series right here in this cabinet right here, which you guys have kind of seen probably, but got your Optimus Prime, Starscream. See if I can open this up, get rid of the glare too. There we go. Cool. Megatrons. And I just started these new age lines, you guys. These new age are pretty cool. They're tiny, but they look and feel perfect. They're a really good figure. Um, I got um, Cosmos coming, and I got a shockwave over there to the left of me. Super cool. And you guys know, because you guys played with Studio Series, they're not the best, but they sure do display well. You know, this thing puts out, a, a lot of people come over and they, they look at it, you know, and they stare into it and they're like, man, super cool. You know, but <clears throat> usually the people that come over, they have no idea of the third party stuff. So that when they start looking at the other toys, they're like, holy shit, you know, these are like better quality, right? But it's, it's fine. Super good. So you guys have seen that before. And then starting down low, I did start buying Beast Wars, and I know that I said I wasn't going to, but, you know, after seeing stuff at toy shows and stuff, so I got Rat Trap down there. I like him. He's pretty cool. And then you guys have seen fucking Optimal Optimus right there. He's a really good figure. And this is a big cabinet right here because I had to get it in there. Look at that. Fucking Megatron is sick. What up? Fucking cool. That guy's so awesome. And then... I got my fucking Apollyon transformed into his gun right here. That is um, Apollyon Megatron right there. It's a pretty good gun. Really big. Got your Optimus Prime right here. That is Lewin Resources Optimus Prime right there. This guy is big and presents well. Fucking awesome. All right, and then coming back this way, this is my TV. I should have had something planned, damn it. Uh, maybe next time, but there's my, uh, my gear clock. That thing's sick. Got your Voltron skateboard. I just picked that up and hung it up a little bit ago. That's pretty cool. I love that. Got your Tony Hawk skateboard right there. I'm not a skater, but I do like skateboard art. It's pretty cool. And I, I used to skate when I was a kid, but you know how it goes. I got these at a toy convention down in LA. That, those are real nice. Perfect. The spawn art right here. I met the dude that actually drew this. He said it took like fucking 15 hours to draw that. And it's fucking amazing. That's the guy who did it right there. Cool. And I love this picture right here. So clean, so cool. I love it. Fucking Harley Quinn. That's a, that's a comic book, right? Super cool. All right, and then here is my spawn and Voltron. So starting up at the top, sorry about that. Starting up at the top, I got the Lego Voltron. I built that. And I do have a video of that. I did a time lapse of it. That was fun. Um, that, that took nine hours to build. I love that thing right there. He is super cool. Super cool. And coming down right here, you got this spawn, dude. This, you guys, if you guys don't have, if you guys don't like spawn, I understand. But if you guys like spawn, if you're into stuff, get this thing right here. This statue right here is so cool. It's medieval spawn and it's so well detailed. I think this thing was 230 bucks, but well worth it. It came from Big Bad Toy Store and the head comes off. You guys, you guys could look into that, but that's fucking sick. And I got another spawn deal dude in the back right there. There's spawn coming down right here. Got your Mecha spawn, Commando spawn, Hamburger head spawn, and the I forget this guy's name. He's the um, 
like from the Western Spawn. You know, Spawn's a good concept too. They they do really good with that whole storyline. And he just it's from it's throughout like history. Spawn is just chooses who it's gonna be. You know, and uh, they they get their own whatever. You know, you guys know how it goes. But so these are cool figures right here. Got that artwork from uh, down in L.A. as well. Right here, look at that. These guys are fucking pretty cool. Look how well detailed. I mean, they, McFarland toys are just amazing. Look at that guy. Super cool. And then the bottom shelf right here. Now, you guys, I do choose Detoffs. I like Detoffs with risers. So see this riser right here? That's about an 8 to 10 inch riser. It's got a shell or a drawer inside of it. But that raises the Detoffs off the floor so that you can, you know, get a little bit more size height on them, you know. Check these out right here. Got Wanda. Wanda. That's cool. And fucking this clown is uh, John Leguizamo. His clown is my favorite clown for Spawn. The HBO series was a good Spawn, but not as good as fucking John Leguizamo. Look at that Mecha Spawn, dude. He's so, or I think that's Techno Spawn. Fucking so cool. Look at all the details in his legs, you guys. This thing's very cool. McFarlane toys are badass. And then you got Malbolgia in the back. Cool, and then that fucking spawn right there. He's got like a Gatling gun. See if I can get in there, see it. And that's one thing about having um, the Detoffs. You know, they're see-through all the way around. Look at that, so sick spawn. All right, and then coming to uh, this is where I put my swoop that I just did that latest video on. He's down here. He's off the floor, but you know, he's right there. I gotta, I gotta move him around, but I don't know if I'm going to. You know how that goes. He's probably just gonna stay here. And these spotlights are fucking doing good for him. My wife got me this right here, this little skull thing. It was in my spawn cabinet, but I took it out to put some more spawns in there. So that's right there. It's pretty cool. And these are my Basojo figures. Check these girls out, dude. I love every single one of these Basojo figures. Um, Talazora, Harley Quinn, super well detailed. And see the galaxy print in the back as I go up? Uh, my son painted that for me, for, direct, just straight up for this box right here. You got your horror series right here. Fucking super pretty. These things are so well detailed and well painted. Coming up right here. And like I said, I love Chun-Li. Look at that. Chun-Li's fucking very pretty. Both of them right there. Cool. Got your Street Fighter. Cool. You see that? Look at that. I mean, why not, right? Wonder Woman. A lot of these I got brand new. Only one or two of them are from like, um, that have been open boxed, you know, that kind of thing from eBay. But dude, just that Wonder Woman alone was 280. Isn't that amazing? I love it. And then my favorites right here, the She-Hulks, both of them. They're super cute. I, I really dig these a lot. And even though they have the same pose, look at their faces, are they are different. Very cool. Deuce. And then I got these comic books right here. For She-Hulk, another She-Hulk, awesome. All right, and right here I do have the MAS-01, two, three, Megatron right here. This dude's sick, man, I love this guy right here. Fucking, he poses so well. He's just on a glass floater. And then you got your Omega Supreme fans toys, of course, right? This guy's badass. And I did start this, I wanna start this line, you guys. It's the Yamaguchi, Amazing Yamaguchi. Look at that, it's Deadpool. He's so fucking sick. And the posability is so cool on these little things, you guys. That's fucking awesome. Coming up right here. The comic book right here. I got that dude to sign that. The voice of uh, Devastator at a toy show. He signed that for me. Voice of Grimlock signed that for me. That was pretty cool. That Shockwave in a comic book. That's fucking awesome. Tarn. I love Tarn. He's fucking badass. That's a good Grimlock one right there. Super cool. And we got fucking Megatron. And Grim I met the girl who did this art print for Hasbro, so that was pretty cool. Or she worked for Hasbro. All right. Got a helmet right there, that Roman. I do like helmets, you guys. Helmet, German helmet, German helmet. I got this Spanish gun right here. It's fucking, it, it's not a, I mean, it's a replica, of course, but uh, it fucking, everything works on it like the gun. It's fucking pretty cool. All right, stepping back right here. Uh, this is how these look from way back here. 
I got these three detolfs right here with lights and uh, above them and stuff like that. So I'm going to get close in on them. But when I step back, you know, you see fucking Omega Supreme, Megatron coming around. You got fucking Optimus Prime, the MAS-02, I believe, or 01. And then you got um, Trypticon. So this is Trypticon come down here. Oh, wait, real quick. Hey, Big Stan Harris, if you're watching this, check this out. Uh the book uh, this guy fucking signed that for me and i was i was this dude's a big dude he's got really big hands he's fucking cool but i was uh big stan harris i know you're into fucking wrestling so that dude right there for you boy yeah i like that so then you got fucking your Trypticon legends right here i love this thing right here too he's, he's he's not too dusty you know you'd be surprised at how much dust is not in here there's that right there everybody likes Trypticon, right it's fucking cool and then your MAS-01 or 2, fucking Optimus Prime is a really good figure. Super cool figure. Poses and everything. I just got this from my niece and nephew. They uh, gave me a birthday card and that thing was hanging off of it. That was pretty cool. Alright, and then on top of this detox, you got your nothing but the best from Giga Power. You guys, there's nothing better than Giga Power for the Dinobots. And then you got your Reximus Prime. Which is not, I'm just waiting for that, that gigapower fucking gig, Grimlock to come out. And then I did get Fans Toy Swoop. I know you, I don't know if you guys knew that in, by watching my other video, but I, I have the Fans Toy Swoop in bird mode and my other boy down there in his fucking robot mode. Look at all these. And then coming down Decepticons first. Look at that fucking thing. I got that off of Amazon right there. That, that uh, Decepticon, it's like uh, you turn on the lights and shit. Let me open up this Detop too, get rid of some of this reflection and get in close on some of these guys. All right, so look at Commodus right here, Turmoil. I got two I got two Turmoils because he's so sick. I love that little tank mode, you guys. And you got your Tarn from Flame Toys, which is just amazing. Just so cool. And you got your little Tarn from uh, Iron Factory there. And there's that little Shockwave from New Age. Look how cute that fucker is, dude. I love him. So cool. So cool, but look at that turmoil. I love turmoil. He's he's like my favorite bot. Coming down right here, you got your Megatron. I'm gonna see if I can turn on my flash here real quick. Can I turn on my flash? No. Nope. All right. Uh. Oh, all right. I'll I'll fuck stop talking about it. Anyway, so IDW Megatron, and you got your unique toys Peru kill. Look at it. Looks like his chest is lit up. Oh, it's sick. This guy's fucking pretty good too. Step back right there. We go get some light right there. You got your scorpion. That's like a some Chinese scorpion, but he's pretty good from the movies. And I did get two unique toys, Peru kills, just because the Lamborghini mode is so awesome and it's so hidden. When you flip them over, you can't even see the robot. You know what I mean? Like you can't see his head or nothing. It's fucking super cool. So I, I dug that a lot, and that's a good design. Coming down right here, you got your Hearts of Steel, which is, I love that line. You'll see upstairs, I got some more Hearts of Steel stuff, but uh, that Starscream from Hearts of Steel is amazing. And this guy right here from, uh, oh, I forgot the company that put him out, but this one was way better. The Mind Wipe from, um, this guy's way better than um, Fans Toys Mind Wipe. He comes with two pump shotguns. What the fuck, Transformer has a pump shotgun. That's awesome. And you got this Megatron. I love this Megatron. He was one of my first ones in my collection, too. Let me see. I'm not getting a little blurry here. Sorry, guys. There we go. Hearts of Steel. The, this, Like I say, that Hearts of Steel line was super cool. The um, Optimus Prime doesn't really look... This is the Nemesis Prime, but I didn't really like him in his robot mode, so he'll forever be in his train mode, which is okay. And then uh, Ghost of Starscream right here. Oh, that guy's fucking badass, too. I love him, man. He was 300 bucks, and I didn't even fucking care. When I saw... The, just getting into my beginning of my collection when I saw that there was even a ghost of Starscream I was like what that's hella cool you know that's how new I'm, I'm pretty new all this stuff you know five years new so anyway this side kill so sick I bought two figures of side kill because look at that bike dude you can't even tell that it's a robot I mean shit that they did so good you know fucking awesome I, I like that fucking bot a lot that's Salmore and then you got the world's smallest transformer fucking deal, you know, little Starscream. And I bought the seasons, you know, all the seasons of the Transformers in that box right there, all the DVDs. That was super cool. All right, let's come over to the Autobots over here. See how good they look on the risers? I mean, I personally like the risers. They're spaced well. The drawers help out with stuff, you know, and that kind of thing. Uh, I'm going to open this guy up right here for the Autobots. All right, coming up on top. Look at that. 
That that Autobot sign is pretty cool. Same thing. Amazon or like fifteen bucks or something like that. Got your IDW Optimus Prime. So sick. That's one of the best Optimus Primes I think that they have out today. Um, the Generation Toy or G Creations. G Creations. So sick. This guy right here. He's fucking pretty badass. Little cliff jumper. I got another cliff jumper upstairs. He was so good. I bought two of him too. It was so fun. Little transformation. Fucking so cool. And your roller. Check out roller. Roller's a good little figure. I got another one of him down there too. I got a double of him because he looks fucking super cool. That fucking op look at that Optimus Prime. You guys, I, if you guys don't collect Transformers, why not? I mean, cars are cool in general, but if they can transform into a cool ass robot, fucking sick. And you got your Jetfire. Look at that Jetfire. I love him. That's another one I bought two of because he was so cool. So these, and he's sitting here with uh, movie Optimus Prime. That's an MP um, movie masterpiece uh, Optimus Prime. There, he's a good figure. He's all right. You know, some of the Optimus Primes beat out Hasbro, but you know, uh, he's he's good for what he is. And you got your fucking Ironhide right here. This guy's a fucking good figure too. Look at that. Let's see. Get rid of this fucking. A little bit of a blare. There we go. Okay. Is that flash on? Nope. Excuse me. Anyway, coming down. Looking good. Looking good. Coming down right here. Oh, and this guy right here, you guys. I got two of him because he was so cheap. I got all of them. The couple in the vehicle mode, a couple in the robot mode, and this guy right here is Computron. Fucking so cool. He's just a good combiner. I have no problems with him whatsoever. He never falls over. The things are really good plastic, well made. Excellent. Computron. I do like having two of a lot of these figures you guys. It's just the way I do it You know a lot of you guys do too. I'm sure but there is the year of the horse Optimus Prime Excuse me year of the goat and then there's my other roller right there cool and then Grimlock I, I took the fucking matrix from Galvatron and I put this on him from fans toys Galvatron look at that just shine look at that Ugh. And that is Hasbro's Grimlock right there. Super small in comparison to that Reximus Prime. But you know how that goes, right? All right, so this is kind of a little bit of a random right here. Let me open this guy right here. All right. And this is your, starting at the top, my Japanese toys. Um, Sola Chigokin, you guys, right here. Nothing fucking beats this thing. I, 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 if, if my toys were all here listening, I wouldn't tell them. But this is my favorite. Sorry, everybody. This is my favorite toy in all of my collection. He was so impressive when I pulled him out of the box. And uh, I've heard other reviewers before I got him of how fucking badass he was. Everything is so just badass about that guy. Anyway, I can go on forever with him. But I uh, got your Gundam right here. I did not build that. I actually got that in a store. And then you got these two girls right here. One is from Disney's oh Fireball. And one is Crimson Scarlet or something like that. Super cute little figures, you guys. Super cute. I like them a lot. They're, they're real small, but they pose really well. Kind of like I think Figma puts them out. That's right. Figmas. And this is my Robocop. Look at this fucking beast. I got this off a dude named Manny. What's up, Manny? If ever you watch this video, thanks for this fucker. I think I paid two eighty dollars for him. This is Hot Toys. And this guy, look at this fucking detail on this guy. He's got wires. He's, there is nothing wrong with him. And then, you know, the uh, the voice activation and all that kind of stuff is super cool. Let me go if you guys want a review on this. I think Optobotomus does a pretty good review on him. But, you know, and there's Peru Kills Dogs. There's a little switch for the Robocop right there. Coming down this way, got your Metroplex. Now, this is... um. So awesome. I, I love this guy right here. He's so big and a lot of people quite are, are like damn that fool is hella big And I'm like I give the whole scale breakdown of if he was a real fucking robot how fucking tall he would be Oh, so sick. And then I got this right here from TFC toys That that is their six gun and look at how big he is in comparison to Metroplex, he's a big dude um, You you could take all his guns apart. I just got him. I like him a lot, too. He's he's in um, Let's see, A3U Reviews does a pretty cool video on, on all these little aspects of whatever, that kind of thing. Super cool. All right, so there is, I'm going to leave these open. That is how it looks like in my living room. Every day when I fucking wake up, come around, walk in here, this is all my living room right here, you guys. I, I love all this stuff. It's so cool. And, you know, what's hella cool is my wife and kids, they dig it too. They don't, they're not like, oh, this shit's stupid. It's in the way, all, all that kind of stuff. You know, it, it's just... It's cool. Oh, and there's a pinball machine my wife got me. The switch is broken right now, but anyway, there's my living room. So, oh, check this out. So these are um, how I do my ladies in my <clears throat> in my gumball machine right here. So check this gumball machine out. There we go. It's a 
just perfect. It works. Nothing wrong with it, but I did paint it. This is something that I painted, took all apart, cleaned it all up. It was fucking tore up before I got and started rebuilding it, you know, and the uh, um, coin op and all that kind of stuff. I got purple and pink gumballs in there for all the girls. So you got your legends, uh, RC, Windblade, and Chromia. Super cool, and they're all on stripper poles. And I, the only thing that it's missing is if you, if it was uh, automated, you know, and the thing that they like moved and shit, that'd be sick up on top. Got that. Got a lot of artwork from uh, like some Optimus Prime right there. Some artwork my son did. Cool. And then that that deal right there up on the wall. Cool. All right, I'm gonna go upstairs, you guys. Here I go. Oh. All right, so you guys, you got to check this out. So this is my room. We do have an American flag bed because, you know, America. Starting out right here. Oh, this is where all the magic happens. <laughs> anyway, there I went off this poster right here for my to-get list. You know what I mean? This to-get list got me every single G1 character. So that was pretty cool. So I put that right there. And this is my Hearts of Steel Shockwave. It, I love Hearts of Steel. I wish they kept going with them. And I wish they continued the comic book and got more characters. So amazing. Look at that little fucking shockwave. Cute. Look at that little fucker. I love it. This guy is big when he transforms too, you guys. Super well detailed. And then, you know, you guys get all your G1 shit. Look, check it out. This is what I do with all my G1 guns from all my toys. They, um, I got this little shadow box. Lined up all, put on little, each one has a little Velcro thing on there to get all your guns, rockets, uh, Devastator shit, um, I have Dinobot stuff, you know, stuff from Prowls and all that kind of stuff like that. Cool. All right, now, these are my, pretty much my pride and joy. I love these guys. These are who I fucking wake up to in the morning and I stare before I go to bed. And this is how they look right here. This is my last of the video, you guys. So once this one um, is done, then I'm pretty much done with the video of my collection. But check that out. So that's everybody right there. And I'm going to come in close and see if I can shut this uh, fucking wind, wind blind right here. Get some light out of here. Cool. All right. So I got a lot of um, mix-up stuff in here too, you guys. But these are just my favorites of my favorites, you know. So let's start. let's start at the bottom. So you got all your G1s, right? Let me see if I can open. And every time I open this cabinet up, it smells so good. It smells like plastic, but good, clean. Oh, plastic. It smells so good. So I'll just let you guys sit here and see, see what, what I got, right? Cool. All of them. I got every fucking G and then I doubled them up. So, and a lot of them are double because I wanted anybody who come over be like, oh, what's that do? Oh, it transforms into this. Instead of fucking with them all the time, I just put the, the duplicate mode in here too, you know? Excellent. Got fucking all the little guys in there. Cool. That. Oh, I do have a, a AM, a ADA, ADA, AMA rated fucking bumblebee in, a, in its own acrylic, acrylic box. That guy right there was just, a guy right there in that little box was like 80 bucks. And he's he's got the rating on him, like 100% rating, perfect, except for, I think it's like 98 because he don't have the box or nothing, but whatever. Then you got your dino bots. Oh, I love these things, you guys. They're so cool to me. And uh, I'm so glad I started collecting these. They're so uh, just interesting and just toys in general are fucking cool to me. Um... And I even, I used to, when I was 10 years old, I remember I asked my mom, like I knew I was going to get older and I asked her, mom, when I get older, do I, can I still play with my toys? And she said, absolutely. You can play with toys forever. I thought that was the coolest thing she could have said to me, you know? Anyway, I love my mom. She's great. Let's get a fucking G1 Jetfire. G1 Optimus Prime back there. I did get those heads for Ironhide and Ratchet just so they look a little bit more true to being a robot instead of how you know how they look without that shit, right? And so and that Astro Train, we have Blitzwing too, but that Astro Train is my original Astro Train from when I was a kid. I was just fucking was able to keep on him just like my robotics. Super cool. Coming up over to this way right here. Got your shockwave, your Bruticus, your Devastator in the in the bubble pack still. The uh, Ravage and Laserbeak. Fucking cool. Those are, I know, I'm sorry, they're blocked, you guys. I didn't mean to do that. But anyway, 
and all your your seekers super good look at that fucking um i did get a double of thundercracker because i like that character he's fuck cool i wanted a double of starscream and fucking skywarp but haven't gotten them wait which one says skywarp oh yeah skywarp not thundercracker sorry skywarp anyway super cool all right so then that is all my g1 down there cool and then coming up i'm gonna open up this door right here too the, oh, the, now this is masterpiece a lot of masterpiece and uh third party figures right here you got your galvatron your rodimus prime you got your fucking titties who doesn't love them come on i love them that's fucking awesome and your fucking um um fans toys fucking cyclonus got your fucking generation two side swipe this right here is a really cool figure. This is Masterpiece's um, Sunstreaker. Fucking cool. Got Hound right there from uh, Hot Soldiers, I think. No, it was a better one. I forgot. I think it's... I forgot which one that was, but look at that custom painted Optimus Prime right there. He's pretty tight. And look, I got fucking... Um, the Devastator from G Creation. Oh my gosh, dude. They're so... Or Generation Toy. Generation Toy fucking blew this one out of the water so i ended up getting two of that figure one for all their fucking car mode and one for their fucking devastation mode um excellent and then you got your uh streaks and your masterpiece i am missing a lot but i but that's okay it's just there's a lot to still get you know and it's just cool there's my other cliff jumper you got your fucking cosmos but not not any third party that's a hasbro cosmos right there from legends i believe you got your fucking, all your vets. I forgot their names. Loud Pedal, uh, something else. And then, uh, you know, Trax. I got Trax in his fucking robot mode. He looks pretty good. Cool. Got a little Lego guy in there. I'm not sure why. But cool. Oh, and then, okay, so there's Bumblebee and shit and Prowl. All these are really good figures. Super cool. Now, these right here are all my fucking transformers prime as soon as that cartoon came out and i started watching it i started buying all these just one by one by one and they're all super cool i love their rendition in the cartoon it's so good you know um how they just how they portray the character sorry the blur right there let me see if i can get rid of that blur there we go um cool figs very nice soundway is probably one of my favorites he's fucking badass in that movie super cool this one's my son's from when he was a kid. I bought it for him. Just like that um, um, Unicron right there. That's his original toy from when he was like seven. This is an original toy from him when he was like seven years old. He's 23 now. Kept on, held on to those. Oh, these are just amazing. I, I love uh, Transformers Prime. Oh, and RC's my fucking, my girl, boy. And then uh, Black Arachne or Arachne. I forgot to call her the Black Widow girl. Um, how can I forget her name? Not thinking. Anyway. So that's all that all is right there. Coming back on that. Super good. And then here's my last of the, the display, you guys, that I've got on my collection. These are, you guys know who they are. The Seekers, um, Acid Rain, Sunstorm, uh, Sky Warp, Thundercracker, Sun, Starscream. And then look at the Hearts of Steel. It's an original, um, like before they painted it type thing, you know. There's a Hearts of Steel. These robots are so cool. I, I love them. Um, Thundercra Thundercracker, Skywarp, and you got that little, um, these little guys right here, pretty cool, The um, their eyes light up and shit, I forgot what they're called, his little eyes light up too, Megatrons, you got your Shark, Shark Decon coming up right here, there's my other Devastator right there, he's up by the light, super cool, and that's, that's the um, Generation Toy Devastator, love him, and uh, there's Apollyon right there, I got that other Apollyon downstairs in his gun mode, Get your sound wave, fuck right. I love that sound. Everybody loves that sound wave. Anybody doesn't like that sound wave, sound wave, there's something wrong. He's fucking perfect. Shock wave, blitzwing. Yeah, you got your Bruticus. I like that Bruticus. Right now, that Bruticus is on Big Bad Toy Store for their Memorial Day weekend um, sale for fucking 189 for all the figs. And I, I, I might do it just to have, but I, I'm running out of room. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do, you know, room wise. And that's Hasbro's. They know the difference between third party and then Hasbro. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, but you know, we all know that they're, I want, I want the, that fucking combiner right there, but you know, stuff with that. Anyway, fucking you got your generation toy or G creations, fucking Megatron right there. And you got your fucking Tarn and his group of fucking clads right there. 
super cool and a little shockwave that goes with that Bruticus you get to build him uh, and then up on top I got boxes some of the boxes from this uh, setup in here that I have and it goes all the way back to the wall So that's a, there's a lot of boxes up there now you guys I do keep all my boxes I know I say that a lot, but man I, I have to I cannot get rid of them and it's not because I want to resell these It's just because they're a part of the toy, you know And the box has so much good art that I choose to keep them and so I have tub containers and tub containers and tub containers full of that shit You know, I love them. They're good Anyway, so there is my display, you guys. I appreciate you guys staying this long, but thanks for coming in. Thanks for checking me out, you guys. Later.